Continuing the session, the maintenance of digital switching systems, a methodology for reporting and correction of field pattern is as shown in the figure. A very simplified problem reporting system is as shown in the figure. You can see in the diagram problem reporting system and module owner. Both you can see in the system. A fault reports from various sources such as testing, first office application failures, operational failures and failures observed during the upgrade process are sent to a fault reporting database. Fault reporting database can be used to record the correction history and assign fault report numbers, fix priorities whether it is a critical, major and minor and track the time required to fix. The fault reporting matrix received, receives the problem and forward to the owner module for correction. Depending on the type of the fault, the module owner solves the problem in the current generic program with patches or to postpone it for the compliant correction in the next generic program. The fault reporting matrix can be used to record correction history. These can also be enhanced to break down the causes of failures and in the aid in root cause analysis of faults. Diagnostic capabilities for proper maintenance of digital switching systems. For the maintenance of DSS, effective diagnostic programs are necessary and these reduce the maintenance cost. Circuit packs also called plugins or circuit card assemblies are necessary in maintenance. Circuit packs will be stored in CVOs but these are very costly. The CVOs is remotely managed via SACS and ESACS. SACS and ESACS require DSS maintenance programs that support remote diagnostics as well as provide high accurate accuracy diagnostic result. In the past, switching system employed a large number and types of circuit packets and diagnostics capabilities. All modern DSS are using a smaller number of circuit packs because a single high density circuit packs impact many functionalities of digital switch. Effect of firmware de deployment on digital switching systems. The recent trend in distributing processing of digital switching system has resulted in increased use of firmware. Firmware impact is substantial on digital switching system, reliability and maintainability. The subsystems in DSS require resident non-volatile object code for the purpose of booting or bringing the system online after a loss of power or system failure. These semiconductor memory types are often called as firmware devices. Firmware is often used to include the program code stored in the device. In telecommunication terminology, firmware can be defined as executable code or data which are stored in semiconductor memory on a quasi-permanent basis. This requires physical replacement or manual intervention with external equipment for updating. With the, with the trend towards distributing maintenance in DSS, the use of microprocessor controllers embedded throughout the system has increased rapidly. Typical DSS may have 20 to 30 percent of their program code embedded in firmware. The present switches adopt many call processing functions on the line cards, they function themselves. The line cards capable of detecting line organizations, terminations, basic translation and service circuit access control. Firm based program require no backup magnetic media and provide local recovery of the line service with minimal manual intervention with external equipment for updating. The updating process may involve erasing or programming equipment or special commands and action 
from a host system for updating electrically erasable or programmable firmware devices. During the updating process, the switching system controllers may be required to operate in simplex. Firmware software coupling. Following are the number of problems created due to the need of change in the number of firmware packs. Increased simplex times for switches during the firmware update process. Increased switch downtime due to system faults while in simplex mode. Uh, required initialization for firmware changes, insertion of defective firmware circuit packs and damaged circuit packs due to electrostatic discharge. Increased maintenance problems due to procedural errors. Delays in the upgrade process because of shortage of correct versions of firmware packs. Increased incompatibility problems between firmware and operational software. The coupling between firmware and the software can be measured as the ratio of firmware circuit packs that is which are changed in conjunction with the generic or major software change to the total number of firm, firmware circuit packs in the system. A low ratio indicates a loose coupling between hardware and the software and a high ratio indicates a tight coupling. To reduce the frequency of firmware changes in the field, firmware should be decoupled as far as possible from other software. The extent of coupling should be documented. A list of coupled firmware and the firmware function should be provided. Next one is the switching system maintainability matrix. Following subsection describes a metric based methodology for assessing maintainability of digital switching system. Figure shows basic matrix with the arbitrary scores. So they are given the two categories that maintain uh, process and the score. So you can see in the first one upgrade pros process success rate for score 0 it is 40% or less for score 1 it is 50% and for score 2 it is 60% score 3 it is 70% score 4 it is 90% and for score 5 it is 90% or more. Upgrade process success rate. The first metric in the figure shows assess the upgrade process. For example, if the success for upgrade process of a digital switching system is only 40% of the time, a score is given as 0. A score of 5 is given for the success rate of over 90%. A through understanding of the upgrade process for a particular DSS is necessary before one can generate a score as shown in the figure. The impact of customer cooperation during the upgrade process and the time required for the upgrade process need to be considered in measuring the success of an upgrade process. Number of patches applied per year. A large number of patches impact digital switching system reliability and maintainability. Therefore, number of patches applied in a year is good indication of system maintainability. An arbitrary sample is as shown in the figure. The figure describes a situation in which a single fault generates a single patch and the CO personnel are involved in patching the switch. The example in the figure shows that if the number of patches is greater than 600, then score is 0. If there are 100 patches or fewer, then the score is 5 is entered as soon. So you can see in the figure, report the first one is upgrade process rate and second one is number of patches applied per year. So it scores 0 for 600 and score 5 for 100 or less. Next one is Diagnostic Resolution Rate. The modern DSS use the diagnostic programs correctly to determine the name and the location of faulty unit down to the circuit pack level. Therefore, diagnostic programs should have good resolution rates. Diagnostic is conducted remotely and a technician is dis uh, dispatched with the correct circuit packs. The repair times that were used in Marco models will depend on the accuracy of diagnostic programs. 
as shown in the example this assigns a value 0 if the diagnostic program can pinpoint defective circuit packs with an accuracy of 40 45 percent or less and 5 if the diagnostic accuracy is over 95 percent this is an arbitrary example reported critical and major faults corrected fault reporting and correction plays an important role in maintaining a digital switching system there are some industry guidelines example bell crores reliability and quality measurements for telecommunication system which requires that all critical faults be fixed within 24 hours and all major faults in 30 days in example shown in figure establish a score 0 if the critical faults were not corrected in 6 days and a 5 if the critical faults were corrected within 1 day Similarly, for major faults, a zero score is entered if the major faults are not corrected in 55 days or more and a score of 5 for 30 days.